eliminate the birds and find the survivors. you. I thought they'd tear me apart. When the creatures started coming in, everybody panicked. People screamed, and I ran. The headman told us to go to the barn and barricade ourselves in, and I, I fell behind when I went to get something from my house. survivor told us about. Tell the people they're safe now. safe now thank the gods you got them all thank you thank you you're our saviors we are saved thank you thank you so much we thought it was the end of us come on come on you won't take me alive
beasts. Kill him. I can't believe it. What a Birds thought you were dead. Couldn't they smell you? And you don't have a scratch on you. You must be immortal. You were born under a lucky star. Come on, it's my duty to bring you to Alienar now. Look at that. The capital in all its beauty. Nothing else like it. Yep, we're lucky. Not every day you meet an immortal. Immortal? Really? <laughs> Why don't you find out? Zip it. Have some respect. Okay, prep for arrival. Almost there. Welcome to Elinar. I take it you had a pleasant trip. I am Harida. I will help you settle into your new life. Poor thing. You've had your share of trials. But remember, the darkest hour is just before dawn. New life is a rare privilege. Immortality. It is something we don't yet fully understand. Remember that immortality does not make you a god. You must learn how to use your new powers as well. A great path lies ahead of you. The way is different for every god, so I cannot advise you on yours. Any path is connected to faith one way or another. If you want to become a god, you need to open your heart to the tragedies of ordinary people. Help them selflessly, and you will see that they support you with their faith. Remember to use your new powers wisely and with kindness. But to do that, you must first learn to control them. I know someone who can help you with that. You should talk to Flavius. He is no ordinary god. His vocation is science. But don't let that discourage you. He is a miracle worker in his own way. He is waiting for you. Now go!
Every time I hear there's another immortal, I wonder why it isn't me. I wish I could visit the training hall. It would be nice to feel like an immortal, even if it's just for a few minutes. A rookie! Hello. Liking immortality? Not getting to your head? Oh, my manners. I'm Flavius. I'm trying to advance science here while others are waving their swords. Of course I'm serious. Aside from me, no one's even trying to understand how things work in this world. Oh, right. This is my holographic form. No time to flit about. And there's so many immortals nowadays. Just so much to do. Right, back to business. Well, what are we waiting for? That transport capsule? You're getting in. I'll join you in the training hall. The hall's completely virtual. I've been doing all of our training here, ever since my lab was nearly destroyed. First, you'll need to pick a class. I'll show you how. Pick an available class, and you'll learn its basic abilities. How about that for a miracle of science? Of course. You can always change your class, at any time. In a tricky situation, you have the Argus system to offer you advice. And of course, I invented it. The Cryomancer can cause significant damage from a distance. However, they do not lack... What you see now is a pack. These enemies are weak on their own, but a group of them can be extremely dangerous. Eliminate them using an area of effectability. Enemies that are strong, but few in number, should be killed one by one. Use abilities that inflict significant damage to a single target. Sometimes you can avoid damage. Take a closer look at the enemy. Some attacks take time to execute. You can evade them. Finishing strike, send it out with a bang.
Oops, <laughs> something must have broken. Don't panic and try to hang on until I fix everything. Did you like it? I don't normally hand out the divine form. It's not even in this training course, but that was an emergency. Someday, you'll be able to use it without my assistance. In the real world, and not just a virtual space. Oh, it's nothing. Do your best, and the desired results will follow suit. There are many troubles on Aelion, and the most crucial one is invasions. Go fight. Go save lives, go make friends and gain more followers, and you will eventually become strong enough to take the next step and become a junior god. I am beginning to sound like Corita. That's it for now. You can return to the Divine Observatory or wherever you need to go. You can stay if you like, but I can't promise any more fun. Excellent choice. Each combat school is more than just a set of skills. It is a special path, a philosophy. It is time for you to learn about the mission of Aelion's gods. Come closer to the model of the planet. Listen. Do you hear that? Millions of voices are calling to us for help, begging us to save them. Here in the observatory, their prayers reach our ears. We are gods, but not almighty. But it is in our power to save lives, eliminate threats, and offer hope. Go. Aelion is waiting for you. Immortals are needed on Danket Island. This mission will be your first. Find out what happened. Do whatever is necessary to accomplish that.
What do you marvel at? This is the golden age of Aelion. The triumph of science and technology. Gods live among us. Well, they don't. Simple mortals can enter the gods' residences only on special occasions. Templar, but I'm retired now. I'm looking, and this is what I see. All that we know about the world fits in half million cubic yards of room space. Alanet, that after what happened in Eonor, the Immortals are planning to... Another town has been devastated. Which town? 